get things underway right now. Uh, of course, we're going to go with Cage and Fox, the yeah, country star, right here at Galaxy. Just while you were getting ready, bro, I thought I'd uh, throw in a track. There you go. <laughs> Loving the hat. Thank you. That is a cool hat. I love that hat. <laughs> Gosh. Hey, um, <clears throat> just while we're, uh, because we're playing country style right now. Um, awesome. Then we're going to play Honky Tonk Bounce because, believe me, you still get asked for both of those tracks. Really? Really do. Uh, then we're going to do Shotguns and Cadillacs, and we're going to release Nashville. Awesome. Brilliant. Brilliant. Awesome. Awesome. So uh, just while we're uh, waiting for that to come around, got to let you know, earlier on this morning I was in the bank, and uh, you, you know how they have you standing in line waiting for the next teller? Yeah. A little old lady in front of me, she must have been about 85 years of age, and she still had her banking passbook. And she's in, got it in her hand, she's looking at me, and she's looking at the bank teller, and she's looking at me, and she goes, can you help me with my balance? So I pushed her over. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I hope you helped her back up. <laughs> They, they got some, uh, the, the weird thing, I've got to be honest with you, it really feels weird to go into a bank and have a hat on and a mask on. The only thing that's missing is a yeah. gun, you know? <laughs> yeah, that freaked me out the first time as well. What is going on in my hair? I don't know. That freaked me out. I was like, I can't believe I'm going into this liquor store with a mask on, you know, <laughs> glasses. I look like the Unibon we're going in. Yeah, we all feel like that. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I do. Exactly. I mean, uh, when, when this coronavirus first started here in New Zealand, it became mandatory to wear a mask in public, hey, right? Brian, how are you? Right. The problem with that you is, a couple of days later, <laughs> Member of Parliament of Homeland Security here in New Zealand is on TV going, I don't know what's going on. Our computers, our facial recognition computers aren't picking up the criminals. Oh, ah, ah, ah. Yeah, everybody's got masks on. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Oh, <laughs> funny stuff. The Unabomber, Terry Van Cannon. Nice to have you on board. Brian Wayne Perry is joining us again. Nice to have you on board, Brian. It really, really is. This is going to be fun because... Our good friend Gibson Cage is back. to do this one as well. <laughs> it's a great way to start, isn't it? Nice to have everybody along this morning. And uh, today we're going, well, we've been in Nashville already this morning, not going too far away. In fact, we're staying in Nashville, catching up with a good friend of ours. Haven't seen him in about four and a half years, I've been told. And it is an absolute pleasure to have Gibson Cage from Cage and Fox back. Yes, Gibson, welcome back to Galaxy. Well, thank you. How are you guys doing? Uh, we're doing. We're doing okay, actually. We're not doing too bad. That's awesome. You know, uh, I'm, I've got to say it, my friend. Love, love, love in that hat. Thank you. Thank you. I forgot 
I forgot who I stole this from. <laughs> <laughs> well, well uh, I wouldn't admit it if, uh, you know, you wanted it back in the first place. But, you know, uh, now, nice to have Sean Adams on board with us. Brian Wayne Perry is joining us. Uh, Terry Van Cannon, uh, now, let me tell you, Gibson, Terry is a very, very good friend of ours coming out of North Carolina. An absolute master in the slide steel guitar. Nice. Absolutely is. Uh, Kevin Moore is joining us as well. Brooklyn Love is joining us as well. Believe me, it is a packed house today. Let's run down the band, band members of Gibson Cage. And believe me, this is Gibson Cage himself. Uh, Anthony Fox, Steve Stokes, David Locke, D Todd Taylor's in there, Jim Phelps, and also Polly B. Uh, now, tell me about Polly B. Couldn't we spell the rest of her name? Polly B. Yeah, yeah you just uh, add a B and go, where, where is she? That's how to spell the rest of that. That's her full name. Molly B, where is she? <laughs> very, very <laughs> cool. Every time we were on the road, we'd stop at a rest area. We'd go in, do our thing, get our snacks, come back out. We're all in the van ready to go. We're in the bus ready to go. And they go, where's Molly B? <laughs> There's always one of those in a road trip. Believe me, there really is. <laughs> uh, Terry says to me, uh, his music is kicking, love the hat too. Yeah, I've got to agree, Terry, I really, really do. Uh, maybe one day I might be able to wrangle it off his head. You never know. Uh, but having said that, Gibson, it has been a while since we've caught up. Uh, and I, I started this off with country style. Let's refresh our audio audience's memory. Tell me a little okay. bit about that track. Country style. <clears throat> well, me and Anthony uh, got together on that one, uh, like we normally do, and, uh, you know, I, I, I listen to everybody else's country tracks around, and I don't know, uh, it's a little slow for me sometimes, and I like to have a good time, I like to, I like to have a lot of energy, and, and I like to work out my voice a little bit, and try to raise the temperature in the room a little bit, and uh, I kind of, you know, went to the clubs out here, and and watch what made the girls get up and dance. And, you know, I took some of those beats and, uh, you know, put it to Anthony. And, uh, you know, he laid down some tracks. And uh, then I, you know, took my time on the writing of it. And, uh, boom, you know the magic that me and him have. Absolutely, I do. And I've got to let you know, uh, uh, Johnny Cash is still one of the uh, highest ranking Gibson Cage requested tracks. We're still playing that, playing the hell out of it got to be honest with you, and also Honky Tonk Bounce, which we're going to get into in a minute, but uh, uh, I, I just want to catch up with you very, very briefly, because I do have a fan question for you. As a fan, how do we get hold of you? Are you on Facebook? Are you on Twitter? Are you on Instagram? I am. TikTok? You know, uh, are you a talker? But do you respond? Yeah, yeah, I absolutely do. I try to respond to everybody. Uh, my personal Gibson Cage page is I have a bad page, which is Cajun Fox, right? But my personal page, I'm pretty close with just about everybody on that page. And, you know, if, 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 if somebody says, I always respond, I'm always on it, Gibson Cage, Facebook, um, I, I, I kind of like it better than the bad pages. I can be a little bit more personal, and I don't, I've never followed the rules anyway. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So... Uh, one of my pages, uh, they kind of interrupted me a little bit, and I dropped it and went over to another one. Um, and I'm, I don't know, I have about 5,000 fans on there, uh, friends, friends, friends and fans. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know, I guess there's a limit on them or something, but uh, I, I still have a lot more to go. <laughs> I, I still can get a lot more friends and fans, that's for well, i got to let you know, uh, Angela coming out of Charlotte, North Carolina, is asking uh, Gibson when you're coming to hoop it up our way. Man, I ever, you know, I get that question an awful lot. We're working with uh, a new a new guy, uh, a booking agent, uh, out of Florida, and we're, we're, uh, but he's not, you know, out of, that's where he lives. That's, we're booking everywhere. And we're going to try to put another one together. Uh, we're, uh, we're going to try to start small on the 13-tour shot. And what you need to do is, you know, 
pretty much. Uh, hit me up on a Gibson Cage page in Facebook and PM me and tell me, come to this club. Here's the manager. I'll pass that on to my guy. If they can work out the deal, we'll be there. I, all I want to do is go play. Yeah, believe me. And, and i got to be honest with you, uh, since this COVID deal has been going on, <clears throat> uh, Barbara has a, an entertainment company that brings bands into the country and uh, does the logistics, everything from staging right down to uh, specialized foods. And the, you know, if you need a hospital or medication or anything like that, she takes care of everything. But while we've been in lockdown in New Zealand, not bringing anybody except for New Zealanders back home again, and everybody's been going through MIQ, and well, we've not been doing any shows. In fact, uh, a lot of our staff have moved on doing different day jobs just to be able to survive that they would normally be dedicated to uh, Barbara's company. So we've suffered quite drastically uh, as far as the music industry goes. Uh, and believe me, we're all sitting there scratching our head. How come sports can get away with it, but music can't? You know what I'm saying? Right. right. Well, you know, the, the band guys have always, you know, we've always gotten it. Uh, you know, pulled around by our heartstrings because, you know, we love this so much. And, you know, we allow this to happen uh, uh, to ourselves. You know, before COVID came along, it was getting kind of rough, you know, uh, trying to maintain the money. Uh, and, you know, it, and it's, a, it's a tough business out there. You've got to have legitimate players and stuff. And a lot of them, like you said, have moved on. I want to say thank you to you guys galaxy uh guys putting us out there there's not you know i mean we're running out of these venues uh, uh and, and heart of you guys uh helping us out you guys are what make us you know make, make us get out and, and work get to play well i gotta be honest with you gibson and, and we've been playing you since the day we first met way back in the day if you remember that uh, we haven't well, stopped yeah. But I've got to let you know, uh, and I'm hoping that you, and I'm going to ask you very shortly about new music, but I hope you can get your writing more and recording more, because without people like you, quite frankly, I wouldn't have a job. It's hard to let people know that, you know, buy a CD, you know, I, I buy butter too, you know what I'm saying? I've got an electricity bill myself, you know, and, and but you know, I mean, I, I know how it is, and I know how it is on the internet and stuff. I am recording. Uh, I'm, I, I am writing. I can't stop. I've got new music coming out. I've got you know songs that are hopping right now. I don't know if you got a guy that's got a chance to listen to some of the uh, the COVID stuff we did. Um, we did a, a God's love song, kind of a with a Christian theme. Um, so you know, I've been trying to keep pushing stuff out, uh, and. I'm never going to stop. Let's get serious. You know what I'm saying? I don't make a dime. That's okay. I'm still not going to stop. You know? Well, here's something uh, rather interesting. And as I said to you earlier on, prior to the show, uh, I was just talking to the uh, Hammond brothers uh, coming out of Nashville as well. And they were saying, Grant, you know, uh, we've been selling million plus downloads. We've been getting this and this and this from all countries around the world. And I said, yeah, okay. And they sort of looked at me and I said, that's not surprising there, guys. And they went, why is it not surprising? I said, because we're global. Uh, right now we're in how many countries? 294. 294, 294 countries right now uh, listening to this interview. And I'll give you how many cities and I'll give you how many tuned in. You'll be surprised. We've grown since the last time we've spoken. Yeah. It has gone exponential. And I'm saying to the uh, Hammer Brothers, you know, if there's 1% of those people that have downloaded your music, bought your music, bought your CDs, bought your merch, everything like that, 1% of them are Galaxy, then, you know, you're going to get a million sales. Right. You know, I need to clarify something real quick. When you try to find Cajun Fox on iTunes or Apple or any of that, you can find it. It's They've got it scrambled up somehow. But you got to use the ampersand. And box is spelled C-X. Yeah, not and X. I keep, I keep telling him about that. It makes it a little hard to find. So you say C-A-G-E, the little ampersand, and then F-O-C-X. That's right. And it'll take you to it. What we're about to do, what I found out was, 
uh, he didn't he didn't put the artwork in correctly actually. So I have to redo Shotgun from Cadillac. I have to redo the artwork. So I have to take that one down and redo another one. I think that's the way they make me do it. Uh, and that's about to happen because we got a whole nother album coming out after this one. And I've got to straighten this up. Also on CD Baby uh, or iTunes or all the other ones, Napster, you can look up Gibson Cage, just the way it's spelled, C-A-G-E, G-I-B-S-O-N-C-H-E-E. And I have, I have two singles on that right now that are my private stock, and I'm about to drop my old album on that name as well. Very, very cool. Now, uh, Gibson, I've got to ask you, uh, while we're running down that kind of information, do you have a website? More importantly, do you have a merch store where we can direct our fans to go and buy merch? You know, uh, we do have Cajun Fox, uh, and it's C-A-G-E, Amperstam, uh, F-O-C-X dot com, I believe. Uh, and if not, you can go straight to the Facebook page right now we're we're in the middle of changing our record label uh from the last guy we were using so everything's a complete mess right now but you can you, we google so well you can find our music so easy if you spell it right <laughs> exactly exactly now uh have you spell it or let me say spell it wrong <laughs> there you go. Uh, now, having said that, my friend, and believe me, you're going to be surprised at this, with way close to about 6,000 requests since we've first been playing Honky Tonk Bounce. This goes back in the day, so of course it's going to accumulate a few in interested, you know, results here. Six, it's actually 5,992 requests for this uh, for the last four and a half years. So a lot of people are still requesting this. So let's refresh our audio audience's memory. Tell me a bit about this. Yeah, that was the very first song we did. I was I had just moved in to Broadway in Nashville, and I had a friend come by and said, "Get up, come with me. We're gonna go over. I want you to meet somebody." And he took me over to Anthony Fox's house, and all the guys and girls were, were having a party. And they were hooping and hollering. And me and Anthony sat down. He goes, let me let you hear this track. And I sat down with him. And around all the noise, everybody screaming, he played it. And, uh, you know, kind of low so me and him could uh, hear it. And I just started spitting lyrics. And the next day, we recorded this song. Well, as you can see, uh, believe me, and say hi to Anthony for me as well, that we still play. Honky Tonk Bounce here at Galaxy. Here's Cajun Fox. Honestly, my friend, we get a huge amount of people asking for that song. That's crazy. I, I am so excited about Nashville. You know, it's funny because uh, uh, I feel like Johnny Cash has always been my favorite so far. And then I hit this Nashville... Um, I, 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 I love it. I love it. It's just too fun to do. Absolutely. And, and we've been playing it now, I, I think, for a couple of weeks. We uh, just yes. prior to Christmas break, mm -hmm. uh, we were playing it. And it blew up our internet. We didn't say anything. We just played it. And people wanted to know across the board who, what, where, when, mm -hmm. are they touring, when's the release all sorts of information and all we could say is this artist is coming for an interview yeah yeah and i missed last week we were set up a week two weeks ago i think and i missed it because i was sick as a dog right, too much whiskey no it was i think it was the big uh COVIDs. oh shit <laughs> oh, no oh. well at least you've come out the other end yeah. <laughs> so, so tell me, is it yeah. as, is it as bad as it sounds? I, you know what? I didn't get tested to find out. Uh, I just stayed home and did horse sense medicine. You know, Mucinex and vitamin C and chicken soup and blow your nose and 
Roll a joint. Roll a joint. Yeah. 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 Or if, if you can get it down, it's hard. Your lungs are a little messed up. Right. Right. Absolutely. So uh, follow that with some good Tennessee whiskey as well. You'll be right. Yeah, you'll have to have a gummy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, in my case, I do anyway. Well, the, voice says, the voice in your head said go. The voice in my head said go. Yeah. Okay. Um, I've, I've actually got an on-air producer who talks to me and gives me stats and bits of information. That's where I'm coming up with the uh, fan questions and stuff like that. Okay. Okay. Um, she may manifest. I love them. She may manifest. You believe me. It, it, she might even wave or something to you. Scary shit when that happens. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> That's been rude, isn't it? I don't care. Uh, uh, by the no way, shame in my game. Uh, well, well, I've got to be a good boy because not only do I have my boss Barbara with me, but I also have my boss on, or my on-air boss with me, and I'm married to her. Okay. <laughs> so I've got to be good. So you got double boss. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yep. I, I've learned to work with a lot of double bosses. Yeah, I've only got, yeah, I've got one. Well, I got a couple double bottles. <laughs> anyway. Now we're going to take it back. Galaxy. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, and it is such a good pleasure to be able to catch up with our good friend, of course, we're talking about Gibson Cage from the band Cage and Box. Uh, by the way, is it too late to say Happy New Year, bro? No, it's never too late to say Happy New Year. I'm so excited about 2022. Yeah, I, I, th I think there's a, a change coming for 2022. It feels like it. It can't get much worse than the last two years. So, you know, I mean, I guess it could, but God help us if it does. Uh, yeah. But yeah. I have, I'm, I'm really excited about 2022. I think it's going to open back up. Yeah, absolutely. And I think uh, by the time your summer comes around, uh, there might be, you know, a different way of looking at this whole COVID Omicron thing, if you know what I mean. So uh, you never know. I tell you, yeah, if it doesn't, I'm just going to have some big parties out here in my field and uh, set up all this PA equipment I've got stacked all over the place. You know, I've got the same idea. You see, Barbara lives out in the countryside, and all my PA stuff is actually out at her place right now. So, uh, yeah, great idea. You know, just, we, we did that once before. We had a huge concert at Barbara's place, and, uh, well, the, the PA equipment never kind of left, really, did it? No, it's oh, been staying there ever since. Got to be honest with you. Kirsty Jackson's watching. Nice to have you on board, Kirsty. Yeah, and Kirstie. love, love, love your new track. I really do. Uh, now... Having said that, my friend, let's move in. We've played a couple of old ones. Let's talk about shotguns and Cadillacs, because believe me, this one is making a big response with people. Well, the shotguns and Cadillacs, uh, it's, it's, it's the album name. Uh, and this one, I guess, is the new one, Nashville. Right? Is that what we're talking about? Uh, no, no, we're talking about shotguns and Cadillacs, the title track of the album. Because Nashville's coming up next. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know which one that is. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> well, uh, I tell you what. Uh, let's play it and refresh your memory. Uh, yeah, because, yeah, let me hear it. <laughs> because everybody else is loving this. They really are. Check this out. <laughs> you know the one? That's Nashville. Oh, okay. So we don't need to play Nashville because that's Nashville. Look. <laughs> that's only new when I got out right now. Okay, well, well, guess what? We're playing it. Yeah, let's play it. But I'll tell you what, I'm going to substitute one because we've got two Nashvilles then by, by the look of it. So, production before said we didn't have time to do it. They messed it up, so I'm going I to... I got Beautiful as Country, I Feel Like Johnny Cash, Donkey Hawk Bounce, Nashville, the Country Style. Well, I'm going to throw in next Johnny Cash. Let's do it. Okay. 
we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll end up with that. So we're inadvertently releasing to the world Nashville, which is uh, Cage's brand spanking new track. Uh, we have a title here as Shotguns and Cadillacs. That's the name of the album. That's the name of the album. So we played that by mistake. And then we had loaded up, of course, Nashville going to do the big release. But guess what? <laughs> Somebody popped it. So we're going to cover that with one of my favourite Gibson Cage tracks. Yes, it's a Johnny Cage, uh, got Johnny Cage song. There you Love go. It. Love it. Gosh, it's hot in here. Uh, Gibson, I've got to tell you. What's in there? Uh, yeah, oh. Because um, he's already got a cigarette. My on-air producer <laughs> wants to know what you're inhaling. Oh, it's vapor stick. Okay, okay. Any hash in there? Uh, Not this time. <laughs> Not this time. Not this time. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, and by the way, Gibson, uh, you're not a vegan, are you? A vegan? Yeah. Um, I, uh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I, I, oh. do, I do go without meat sometimes, but no, I eat meat. Okay. But I do sustain, I, I do go without long periods of time. Okay, well I must admit I'm a confirmed meatologist myself, I get right into meat. Uh, but I, I ask everybody, have you ever tried a vegan sausage? Oh God, I feel a joke coming on. He's <laughs> <laughs> right, you're right. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, just want to know if they're made of real vegans or not. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh uh, yeah, there was a joke coming on. Uh, guess what? I slipped on. <laughs> yeah, I slipped on that. It was a little late. I was getting into, uh, uh, yeah, a vegan joke with uh, Gibson Cage. Uh, i, I got to be honest with you, Gibson. Uh, a few weeks ago, I was actually talking to a vegan and I says to her, you know, do you guys hang out together? Do you, it, and she goes, why? And I says, because the only place I ever see you guys is on the news. What? <laughs> uh, on the news? Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's the only place I ever see vegans hanging out is on the news. Ah. Yeah, uh, she said to me that they do actually hang out. They, they do get together and they go out for a say. He finally got it. Uh, they, I have delayed reaction there. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit in between uh, our countries, right? It took a little while to get there. <laughs> right. It's a signal act. Yeah, exactly. Well, I've got to let you know, uh, her reply literally was, yeah, we do hang out. And I says, well, do you go to the pub? Do you go and have a sociable? She goes, yeah. I says, so what happens if you have too much of this and before you know it, you're having an argument with another vegan? Do you go out into the car park and sort it out like people? You know, you do you? She goes, it has happened. I says, is that, you know, having a beef with somebody? If you get hit in the face, is that, if you get hit in the face, is that a slap in the chops? That is a slap in the chops. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah, believe me. Vegan or not. Yeah, <laughs> literally. Um, so, we released, and, uh, well, you know, it was, it was a pure accident, I've got to be honest, because we were going to release Nashville, uh, but Gibson's just uh, informed me that the, play, uh, the song I just played was Nashville, the song we were going to release around the world this morning. So, uh, inadvertently, I really hope you enjoyed it. I really do enjoy Nashville. Uh, tell me a little bit about this track, because I think it's an absolute gem. Well, uh, Nashville, uh, I've had the idea to do one for a while. I thought the city needed a little bit of a boost after COVID. And, uh, you know... Uh, during COVID, and we need to bring our tourism back, and we need to put seeds in the bar stools, as it were. And I thought maybe uh, we could use this to uh, do a national um, uh, tourist uh, commercial around the United States, the world, uh, if, if I could, uh, to get it uh, to get people to come out and have a good time. You know, I, I get it. I really do. And now, at the same time. Uh, give me a shout out for the producer and the recording studio because I really, really think this is a work of art. 
Anthony Fox, you know, he's a, you know, A Fox production. Uh, Anthony Fox, F O C X. Uh, you know, he's just, he's fed phone, man. The guy's an artist. Uh, he's, he's, he's methodical. He's, he's just on everything. And he, he works like a mad scientist when he's mixing these out. Uh, we sit side by side. And, and man, we argue like, brothers and sisters or something sitting at that thing and we go at it for hours at a time and we're still buddies you know what i'm saying we beat each other up over that thing you know verbally never you know uh, uh just two artists kind of banging it out but the guy is just amazing you'll be talking to him and you're trying to you're trying to tell him what you want he's 10 15 moves ahead of you on the computer clicking away click 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 <laughs> I, I know what it's like. I've, I've been a uh, studio engineer for almost 40 years. I've been a front of house engineer for approximately the same time. And yeah, okay, I've been a DJ for almost that long as well, I've got to be honest with you. Uh, so I put my years in, in studying music and basically breaking down. Now, I don't listen to music like a fan would listen to it. I listen to it as an engineer. I break it down in its increments. See where the journey has started, where, where it's going and where it's ending, if you know what I mean. And uh, i I got to say, you know, Anthony is a striker genius. He really is, because I, I absolutely love his work. Uh, and when you see him, uh, say Happy you know, New Year and Merry Christmas and all of that, but please, give him a poke in the eye for me, won't you? I will. I will. Got, got to be, yeah, it's got to be a good... We should have done three-way. I could have got him on here. The well, you know, wife yes, kind son. of worries about me when I'm d talking about doing three ways. We could do a vegan three-way. There you go. Well, maybe not. You know, because uh, I asked for hamburgers <laughs> and stuff like that. You know. <clears throat> you would ask for hamburgers. <clears throat> yeah, there? yeah. You see, there's nothing more insulting to a uh, vegan as eating lettuce with a bit of meat, is there? <laughs> well, they have the Impossible Whopper now. Yeah, well, there you go. There you go. Do you guys get the Impossible Whopper? Uh, have, well, no. Uh, we, so do. we do. We do. Uh, no. One says no and one says we do. Yeah, maybe you're no. not eating it in the right place. <laughs> maybe you're just not eating. <laughs> you, oh, just not eating. Okay. No. Uh, you're staying away from Valentine's. Gotcha. Fair enough. McDonald's and stuff like that. Jill Pine's watching. Nice to have you on board, Jill. And uh, hi to Kev as well. Absolutely love that. Uh, while you're watching, Jill, we're just wondering, how would you like to do me a new voiceover uh, for your new track? I'll be able to add it in and uh, play it in the record show. Loving it. Really are. Uh, yeah, holler, moving lines. Yeah, absolutely holler, moving lines. Uh, Gibson, talking of doing voiceovers, maybe, just maybe, you might want to be able to do me one uh, if you're near a recordable 58 at some stage and say, hi, it's, you know, Cajun Fox, this is my new track, Nashville, something like that, that we could attach and play when we're playing it here. I'd love to do you one. Awesome. Uh, even even something like, hi, it's Gibson Cage from Cajun Fox, and you're listening to Galaxy or something like that. We'll throw that in all the time. Yeah, man, I will say anything you want. <laughs> no, nice. So I'll, I'll tell the maitre d' he's paying. <laughs> he, he, he just said he's going to do it uh, yeah man sounds great awesome Jill thank you very much we love playing voiceovers drops voice drops stingers everything like that uh, that way our audience knows exactly who you are and it works it really does uh, speaking okay. of which uh, are you familiar with the uh, Galaxy Artist page uh, on Facebook Gibson I am I hope you advertise yourself in there you know, I don't, I, I will, I don't, I like to step on people's pages too much. I figured if they wanted my videos on them, they'd just go grab them off the page or something, you know. Uh, uh, but I will, I'll drop some on if you say it's okay. Oh yeah, definitely. That's what it's there for, is for artists okay. to be able to promote themselves. Uh, literally, and, and believe me, if you're writing a new song, if you've got a new logo, if you've got a new poster, if you going to a concert, releasing a new song, whatever, uh, even going to the opening of a shoebox, put it on there because there is so many people that go and have a look in there and you never know who they might be. It might be a record label or a venue promoter or owner or, you know, just draw, anybody hey, could be there. If it's just a fan 
who enjoys a good song, that that'd be great for me. I and I've got a lot of other uh, private stock uh, of, of songs that not necessarily in the genre that we're listening to right now, or not the genre of Cajun Fox, but I have other 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 interests and in other songs that that explore different, you know, rock and you name it, all, all kinds of different. Yeah, look, uh, it's submitted into the page. Of course, uh, the uh, management that runs the page will either accept it or not, if you know what I mean. Um, unfortunately, it, it, there's been a few cagey females putting some cagey stuff, you know, that doesn't quite get there. Ah, you know, the, the well, I'm, a, I'm a cagey guy. Well, well you know, it, it, you, you don't have the, uh, the lungs for it, let's put it that way. So the management of that usually sends it to me first before we get rid of it. You know what I mean? I'm just cagey. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, now, at the same time, and, and I'm going to ask you this, uh, while we're talking about promoting you, not only doing voiceovers, being able to add them on the radio and play them often, and uh, also getting you into the Galaxy Artist page, have you ever heard of a magazine called Lazy Indie Magazine? Lazy Indie Magazine? Yeah. I don't think I have. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, I would like your permission to get Barbara to introduce you to the editor of, and the owner of the magazine. Now, believe me, he comes out of uh, India. His name is Jay. Uh, he comes from a region of about 8 million, uh, uh, yeah, about 8 million people. And I'm pretty sure he knows each and every one of them by their first name, I've got to be honest. Fantastic, <laughs> fantastic magazine. And believe me, we've submitted artists in there like Steve Lynch, the former lead guitarist from Autograph, uh, Dave Evans, the uh, former founder and lead singer for ACDC. Uh, a huge amount of people have gone into this magazine. It is poised to be one of the biggest magazines for 2022. Literally, I think it's going to give uh, uh, Rolling Stone a run for his money in, in the near future. I really do. And we also have articles in there as well. So just wondering, can we get your permission to be able to introduce you to Jay to be able to promote Cajun Fox? Absolutely. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, Raywin Shaw says he sounds like Mike Campbell or Tom Petty. Love his voice. There you go, my friend. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, I think there's a uh, correlation there too. I really do. Yeah, I can see where she's coming from. Um, but I, I still think, you know, there's a bit of, uh, well, let's call it a frappe. And what I say by frappe is it's a fusion of rock, jazz, blues, bluegrass, grunge, gospel, and country. Throw it in a blender, hit high speed, frappe it. You got Cajun Fox right there, don't you? Hallelujah, yeah. brother. Hallelujah. <laughs> there you go. Uh, now, we were to release your brand spanking new song, Nashville, which uh, I see you've dressed the wall for <laughs> in the background. But we jumped the gun there by the scenes of it. So. That's okay. That's I, okay. I want to play one of my favourite Cage and Pox songs. And, and believe me, I, I, I think just quietly that maybe it's one of yours as well. And uh, I, I think you did. Todd, uh, I think Todd Taylor was involved in this one as well, wasn't it? Uh, yes, he was. Tell us about that. Uh, tell us about this particular track because believe me, I, I'm absolutely fascinated. Are we and, talking about the new track or the old track? No, we're talking <clears throat> about the old track. And, uh, okay. We're talking... Yeah, Todd Taylor was involved in that one. Uh, uh, we're talking about... Uh, which one are we talking about? <laughs> we're talking about the guy who escaped prison, literally. Uh, and, and I feel like Johnny Cash. I feel well, like... Well, dude, I mean, I wanted to drive down the road doing 100 miles an hour with a girl's skirt flying it. And she's standing on the front seat singing out the words to her favorite song. Uh, yeah, man. I figured that's what it felt like to be Johnny Cash. <laughs> very, very cool. So, uh, to, to do the filler, here it is. I feel like Johnny Cash. Here's Cajun Fox. <laughs> You know, when you said that, bro, it brought back a memory. Uh, in my younger years, I had this car that I could take the roof down on a convertible, hey, right? Yeah. And I had this chick, hey. and we were cruising down the motorway, 
and we had this trucker keeping up with us, right? So she stood up on the on the chair or on the seat. She turned her back to him and made him take her bra off out of the truck. <laughs> That's living, baby. He got to keep the bra. That's living. I got to keep the girl. That uh, you got the you got the short end of the top. <laughs> <laughs> Ray Wilshaw says hi, darling. A great doll. She's my niece's uh, man. She's living with sister. Right? Okay. Christmas, you know the uh, blonde lady. Right, of course. Right. Okay, yeah. now I know. Gotcha. <laughs> Gotcha. She's checking up on me. And <laughs> she says, groovy, man. <laughs> very cool. Very, very cool. Um, believe me, absolutely blinder of a year coming up. We have some brilliant talent, and we couldn't start the year off without somebody like Gibson Cage joining us, coming out of Nashville. He's an absolute oh. artist. Check him out. Oh. Go and have a look online. Thank you so much. Thank oh. you so much. Such kind words. Uh, no, we believe in you, bro. We always have. We've been good friends ever since we met. Yeah, yeah, we sure have. We, we've, uh, we've, hung, we've been around for a little while, haven't we? Yeah, I think... Got a little history now. I, I think it's a long time between drinks, though, bro. Yeah, that's for sure. So, that's for sure. have you got some new stuff coming up? Can we do this again in the near future? Yes, yes. I... I uh, my, what I go to is right. If, you know, I, that's what I do, and, and, and I just go to it. I've got some crazy ideas that we've been working on, and yes, I'm coming out with some new material, probably another five or six songs right off the bat. I'm going to, uh, 2022, I made myself, uh, you know, that's my resolution, was to stay in this room right here and, and get that writing done get in that studio and get it worked out and all the stars are aligned as it were nice right nice um gibson Bye -bye, how would you like to send us a few cds Bye -bye. that we could do a, a gibson cage and fox Bye -bye. giveaway competition you know what i would do that uh we can talk about that last time i've got some other stuff as well you know what i've been doing is flash drive okay all right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I've been getting flash drives uh, real cheap, and it's easy to mail, and I can put so much more on a flash drive for someone. Very, very um, cool. Hang in there, bro. We're just going to go back to the desk. <laughs> Jill Fire, a, an artist that we're uh, very, very friendly with, uh, of course, here in Kevin, uh, just saying we hope to visit Nashville someday. Maybe they might be able to hook up with you. They think you're very, very cool. And, of course, New Zealand. Of course, Jill. We want you here in New Zealand. Yeah. We really, really do. And, of course, uh, uh, we've spoken to uh, Gibson in the past about getting him here in New Zealand. And, uh, well, we're still trying to do that. But, unfortunately, along came this deal where we closed our country. So we're waiting very patiently for that to happen. In the meantime, my friend, uh, I'm kind of cagey about talking to people about Flash Anything because uh, then you get visions of me in all sorts of weird and wonderful clothing, don't you? Uh, yeah, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, uh, you should have been part of the uh, New Year's Eve deal. <laughs> there was a photo. Oh, man. Oh, there was a photo of me going around. Believe me, one guy says that's the next album cover for him. <laughs> Literally. Well, you gotta send me those photos. Uh, mm, yeah, sure, okay. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll you gonna have it? <laughs> nah, not in your wildest, bro. <laughs> Literally. Oh, come on. Um, you never know, Barbara he, might get cheeky and send you a copy. It's Barbara, so yeah, funny. you gotta send them to me now. I'll just hold it down low. <laughs> yeah, yeah, do that. I was actually talking to a good friend of mine coming out of Canada. Place. He's in the band The Mighty One. And he was joining us for New Year's Eve, and I just said it to him, and I says, you know, uh, we, how we started doing these interviews is way back in the day, almost eight years ago, uh, we started on a Monday night, it was called, uh, uh, what was it called back then? It's 
Skype party. Yeah, sc Skype party Monday night. Yeah, and uh, literally we were Skyping with our friends and a lot of people that were tuning in that had the uh, Skype address and we were getting drunk, right? Literally, <coughs> Barbara and I, we were getting plastered. We were starting about 7 o'clock at night and finishing at midnight and, well, it, it was... Let's keep up with it, it was hard going, I've got to be honest, but the board and the bosses come to us and said, you know, Grant, not a good look. You know what I mean? We've got an image. Guys getting drunk on, on air is, nah, we don't want to do that. But we love the idea of the Skype interview stuff. Right. Come up with something fresh and we'll go that way, but, you know, just knock the alcohol on the head. So that's how this transpired all, all to start with. And back in those days, we were, you know, rather happy with ourselves if we had 10 people tune in, <laughs> literally. Um, these days, global, literally global. I'll, I'll give you the amount of people that are online right now listening to what I'm saying to you uh, okay. on the radio. And believe me, you'll be fascinated. You really, really will. It's grown exponentially. Uh, having said that, we are going to have to wrap it up for now, but I would love, love, love if we could... Uh, do some giveaways, maybe even if you want to send me a shirt or something, and believe me, subliminally, people go and have a look at who I'm wearing. Before you know it, you never know, you might have at least another 5,000 pans or something like that. It has happened. Um, I wonder how long it'll take you to get there. Uh, well, yeah, depending on the post, you know, if you're sending a snail mail, it might take a decade or so, <laughs> literally. Uh, but uh, on the average, I think about... 23 days. How many? 23. 23 days. That's 23 days. Yeah. <clears throat> and that's not pigeon courier either. I'll throw some stuff together. Do that, because believe me, we... I'll, I'll throw some stuff together and get it out to you guys. We, 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 want, we want to promote you as much as possible, Gibson. We really, really do. We, and as I said, you know, we've known each other for a number of years. We yeah. want... We want to up the scale a little bit and uh, get Gibson Cage back there fresh in everybody's mind again. You know what I mean? Right. I, I, I agree totally. I, I appreciate it. I, I definitely appreciate everything you guys are doing out here. Nice. Well, i tell you what. I'll get Barbara to uh, set up a uh, little groupy thing uh, with Jay from Lazy Indie Magazine. Get him introduced to you. Uh, okay. he, he'll pass over questions to you, stuff like that, that he'll put in his magazine. And believe me, You'll be fascinated. I'll get Barbara to send you a couple of copies of past issues that we've done just to show you, you know, this is a class deal. It really is a class deal. Again, awesome. it's about promoting Gibson Fox and uh, uh, Cajun Fox. It's about getting as many people aware of you and your band uh, and Anthony and the rest of the crew, including, uh, you know, uh, P uh, Polly B as well. You know, Believe me, if you ever introduce me to her, you know, I'll understand. I'll give her a bit of stick, you know, about, oh, you know, road trip. beautiful. Polly's, <laughs> Polly's beautiful. Well, believe me. Uh, and we want to see uh, Cajun Fox full band, full noise over here touring in New Zealand. So believe me. Well, you know what? I'll put, I'm going to post uh, one of our live shows on your page there tonight. <laughs> and uh, you can get a good look at what Cajun Fox looks like on stage. And uh, maybe you can get us on out there. Uh, I want to come out there and, and rock you guys out in person. Well, we want to do that too. We really do. Uh, Leho is joining us as well. Nice to have you on board, Leho. I've never met you before, uh, but nice to have you as a first-time viewer. It really, really is cool. Uh, now, we are going to have to wrap this up, but please don't go anywhere just yet because we're going to do something a little different than what we used to do back in the day. We're going to take some photos. Barbara's going to put the whole deal into a movie, send you a copy of that. You'll get a copy of everything we do. Uh, we'll also put it on YouTube. And for those of you that are going to watch this a little later on over there on YouTube, uh, don't forget, you know what to do, right? No, you do. No, no, you do. Sub, thumb, bell. Bingo. Uh, bell, notifications when we have important people like Gibson Cage join us. Click, click. There you go. Do that. Keep in touch and check out Cage and Fox on the internet. Fox spells F O C X. Got it? Look for that. But in the meantime, uh, don't go anywhere, Gibson. We just whip on over to the other studio, yes, yeah, Studio B, with Marion Faithful playing right there. Here's the ballad of Lucy Jordan.